So I'm, uh, I'm happy with where the project is at the moment to call it version 0. I've renamed it to G-Engine so it doesn't just have some ambiguous game name. Um, and what I've done is in the resources folder I've cleaned it up a bit. This, this is going to be my default texture so I'm just leaving the face there. Um, I've still got the shaders in the resources folder because there's only two of them but in the mod folder, which is short for models, I've got this format of um, folders containing certain named files with a .mod extension that lets you know what kind of stuff they've got in them. And the .mod folder contains a mesh.obj and a text.png. So mesh.object is the mesh in object file format and text.png is the texture that will get used and I've done this for the axes and for the cube models so the axes are going to have the brick and the cube is going to have the the face um, and the way that these get handled in the program is in entity.c well in, in the entity file pair there is a function called load mod function called load mesh and load text and I think we're going to be using this um, mod mesh text um, sort of naming convention all the time so if you see text you know it's relating to textures if you see mesh it's relating to meshes and if you see mod it's relating to this sort of folder format that I've got <coughs> and these will take an ID and, and a, a file path load mod takes the the path to the dot mod folder load mesh takes a path to an object model and load text takes a path to a, a texture image and what load mod does if I can find it it's like a 500 line file I'm gonna have to start making <laughs> a new file for each new thing I do um, load mod basically just sorts out the uh, it goes okay I found the, um, the dot mod folder now I'm gonna create I'm just gonna add mesh.obj and text.png to the end of it in separate um, in separate two separate strings and then you load the mesh and load the texture with those strings and so what load mesh does is it just reads the object file and does this big old thing that I had before and load text just loads the texture and adds it in and so I can do these two separately as well they're all in the header file so if I want to change the texture in the middle of the, the game then I can do that if I want to change the mesh I can do that as well if I want to change the entire model I can do that um, and yeah I think I think the next thing I'll do oh, I guess I'll run it um, so this is what uh, I've got I've changed the um, the brick texture because for, for simple stuff in my game I'm going to be using this cool program that I found called NT Paint which just lets me use a small color palette. I kind of like that aesthetic. So you can see I've got, I've loaded this from file and I've loaded this from file and I'm not talking to any files. Like for, for each of these objects, I'm not talking to any files other than the ones in, like in their sort of package, which I think is kind of neat, but I can always just change them in the middle of runtime if I want. If I, you know, hit a button and I can make that look like a uh, something something else a different texture I can make it look like the face or wood if I make a texture anyway um, that's that's where it's at it's on github as well that's it